Hey everyone, I am so excited to announce Miss Ati's live dance workshop. So on April 11th from 1.30 to 4.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, check your time zone if you're somewhere else, um, I'm hosting three full hours of live dance content. The first hour, I have a very special guest, the founder of The Whole Dancer, Miss Jess Spinner. I'm super happy to be talking to her. Um, we're gonna go through all of the common insecurities and struggles that dancers go through and how to build a strong, resilient mindset regardless of all that junk. Um, the second hour, we're gonna be working on flexibility, and I get so many DMs a day about flexibility help, so this is your moment. I am going to help you nail all of those tricks and technical goals you've been working on and up-level your range of motion. The very last hour will be a contemporary class, so you'll leave having learned a brand new piece of choreography taught by yours truly. I am super excited and I know this is a very strange time. Um, this quarantine is very bizarre and it's scary, but I'm, I'm proud to have an online platform that I can share what I love most, which is dancing, and I can spread positivity and joy. Um, this is gonna be a really fun afternoon of laughter, of, of growing both um, in your technique and in your artistry. Um, so make sure you follow the link in my Instagram bio if you're on Instagram watching this or in the video description if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, tickets are ready for sale and, or they're up for sale, ready for sale? I don't know, quarantine brain. I'm sitting here next to my laundry. I put this hat on just for this video, so. <laughs> That's where I'm at, everyone. Um, I love you so much and I can't wait to have you. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. We're learning how to do a Calypso today. Calypso is the most, well, is it the most popular? I don't know, Misati. But Calypsos have been around forever. So today's the day that you're gonna learn how to do it. You really do need some space for this. Get some cardio. Make sure you're warmed up. Seriously, make sure you're warmed up. Pop over to one of my warm up vlogs or stretch vlogs, just anything to get your blood pumping. And let's get jumping. But first, Ooh, that was a good one. Our patron of the week is Matteo Olison. Brayden and I just got into a fight, meaning we talked about it for one minute, of how to pronounce your first name. Matilda, Matilde, Matilde. Please let me know, because I think it's Matilde. What do you think it is, B? I thought it was Mathilde. Mathilde. Either way, it's beautiful, and we love you so stinking much. Thank you for all of your support. Congratulations on being our patron of the week and getting into our vlog. We love you. All right, there are a couple things you need to know before you do your calypso. First thing is the position of your legs. <laughs> Probably important. Um, I'm gonna be doing a right side calypso, in which case your front leg needs to be stick straight, okay? So that front leg shoots up. Your back leg is in an attitude. That is what makes it a calypso, is that attitude right here. You wanna make sure that your knee is above your toe and not the other way around so that you're not dipping your knee down. Lift it up, so straight front leg, attitude in the back. Your arms, the arm that is out closest to the extended leg is rounded and out. The arm that is closest to the lifted leg is also lifted. So your arms are pretty much mirroring what your legs are doing. So in the air, I'm going to look like this for my upper body. Now. There's two different options in a calypso that we're gonna work on today. You can either be completely upright in the calypso or you can have a little bit of a back arch. That is up to you. Now let's work on the prep for the leap. Okay, so our prep for the calypso is a high chenet, low chenet, meaning you're doing an upright chenet and a chenet in a plie. So let's go over that first. Start with the tendu front, arms in a nice third position. You're gonna spot out to the side. A high chenet goes up on a releve, and a low chenet goes down in a plie. You need to take four total steps before you leap. Five, six, seven, count them, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and count one. Two, count three, four. I'm gonna show you from the back. Six, seven, and high chenet, low chenet. From there is where you're going to be jumping onto the supporting leg. In my case, I'm doing a right side like I told you, so you count one, two, 
Three, four, jump. And you always land on how many feet for leaps? Brayden? One wonderful one, ah, ah, ah. One, good answer. Let's try a little baby one. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, jump. Okay, let's do the whole thing. So you wanna make sure that you get a ton of power. And power comes from going low into the ground for your plie so that you can jump up super high. Also, you want to make sure that your shoulders aren't up here. Sometimes when we get stressed out, our shoulders go up to our ears. Press them down. And breathe up. So there's a little bit of a lift in there. Um, for the low shimmy, or the high shimmy, low shimmy, make sure you don't go too slow because it'll feel weighted. So if you go up, up, down, down, jump, you'll have a little bit more momentum than if you're going slow motion. So once you get the position of the legs, then you get the high shinny, low shinny mechanics and you're taking four whole steps. Then add the power and the speed truly into the big jump. Here we go. Ready, B? Mm -hmm. Five, six, seven, and... <laughs> okay, so once you have the jump, kind of, you do want to work on turning out of it so that you're not just landing and you're like, where am I? After you do the leap up, Continue the momentum over your right shoulder and then you're going to step out of it. So that's called turning out of your leap. So if your teacher's like, hi, Shanae, low Shanae, Calypso, turn out. You're like, what is a turn out? That's what's happening right there. So after you Calypso, continue to turn around yourself in order to complete the rotation and find your front again. Yay! Thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited to make this one. Um, this was a request of one of our patrons. So, the how to do a Calypso came from patreon.com slash missati. She asked if we could make a video of it and I thought it was a great idea. So thank you so much for recommending that and I hope that you guys really enjoy learning how to do this leap. Tag us on Instagram so I can put it on my Instagram story highlight, my babies. That collection is getting bigger and bigger and I love watching all of you dance and learn from the channel. And it's just really cool seeing the positive impact that it's making. So please continue to share with Brayden and I, at Miss Ati, and at Brayden Bear. We love you so much. See you soon. <laughs> just a quick nutritious snack between shoots. Can you see it? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. Thank <laughs> you.